when I was a little boy, I used to imagine all sorts of things. Like I wouldn't even leave my leg hanging out of the bed because I thought somebody might be under it and eat me up. And I was in my living room one day, writing as usual. I do two or three hours writing nearly every day. And I thought about this monster maybe under my bed. I thought, wow, I wonder if an angry giant, a thousand years old, was maybe living under the soil, under a tree, under the rocks, and right down there. And every now and then he pops up, grabs you, and makes a pie out of you. And that's where the idea started to develop. It was one of the first Poland stories that I did write. And um, of course, when I wrote it, everybody loved it. And I knew I was onto something good because from the Angry Giant, uh, I wrote Grumbelina and then I wrote Travis. Uh, they, these are all stories that you've yet to hear. They're all magical stories in a magical place where all them fantasies and thoughts you've had as a child can develop and they can tell stories with a moral as well. I mean, the idea of a young boy going to find and meet his fears, that monster, and tell him that it was wrong to eat people and make pies out of them. I thought, wow, would I ever be that brave? as a 12-year-old boy say, and go and confront him and tell him how wrong it was. And he takes his supply of snacks. And the great twist of the story is he doesn't fight the giant. He actually offers him his snacks. You know, there is a better way of life than eating people. He licks and he sniffs and he tastes and he decides to change uh, lifetime's habits of maybe there is a better way. That's the twist. Not fighting, and that's where the magic starts. They, they expect him to go fighting. But no, there's a better way. And, of course, he was a hero going down there, something I wouldn't have done at 12, by the way. I would never have been that brave. In fact, when I read the story to children in schools or whatever, I say, well, this boy, you know, Paul, he's a lot braver than I would be. And I asked them if they would be brave like that. Thank you.